Hey everybody, it's Chris from CRT Sports Cards, and welcome to the series called Furloughed. Good morning, everyone. It is April 18th, 10 in the morning, day number six of furlough, and it is raining in Seattle. So for anyone who doesn't live here, you think it rains there every day, but it doesn't always rain here. So a little bit different of a day for us, probably do more things inside, but uh, it is going to be an exciting weekend for us here at CRT. Uh, tomorrow is the launch of our consignment service. We were able to get a couple of our customers packages in early. So we're going to launch one week early ahead of schedule. I've got another about 50 or 60 cards already uh, incoming for next week. So we are we are on the way to making this a very successful operation in little to no time. Um, I've also started doing some advertisements on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and then on Google overall. So if you are scrolling your Instagram feed or, or your stories or Facebook or even Google and you see my ad, uh, let me know. I'm just curious what the what, what it's going to look like or I know what it looks like, but I'm curious on if it's effective. The numbers right now are just too early in the process to figure out if they are effective or not, but I'm curious from a in consumer perspective, uh, when you see it, would you click on it and always looking for suggestions. So if you have any thoughts or comments on the ad itself, please let me know. Uh, yesterday in the uh, gardening world, uh, just a little bit of uh, work in the backyard, nothing too, nothing too major. So I think I'll take the, uh, the weekend off, do a lot of card stuff on Saturday and Sunday, uh, get, uh, get some more things listed in the store that maybe have either fallen off or need to be adjusted price-wise. But hey, it is raining here in Seattle at the moment, and let's, let's correlate that to when it is a rainy day for us on eBay as a seller. Look, when we list cards, we ideally want them to sell either at a fixed price, best offer, or at auction. But there are times when people don't pay, and that is what I consider a rainy day uh, on eBay, is when we, we've done all the proper steps, we've listed it, we have responded to the messages, we've taken the right photos, we've done all the legwork, somebody has gone out of their way and purchased the card or bid on it, and now they just aren't paying. What do we do in that situation? And I've been selling on eBay now for almost 20 years, off and on, the past three to four years very heavily. So here is my number one rule of what to do when you have a non-payer within 48 hours. So there are actually two things I do, but I consider them 1A and 1B. They are both vitally important to the process, and they're going to ensure that either you get paid or you're able to relist re the item as fast as you can. So if a buyer does not pay within 48 hours, immediately open up a non-paying bidder uh, case on eBay. Get that clock ticking. The person has 48 hours to pay for their card uh, that they purchased from you, and if they haven't done it in that time, you as a seller need to take control of the situation and ensure that you get that, that MPB case going as fast as you can. Look, <clears throat> look paying for a card in 2020, takes about five seconds. There are 86,000 seconds in a day. And if you think about that over 48 hours, a buyer has roughly 34,000 opportunities to pay for that card in 48 hours. If they're not doing it, you have to take control. So get that NPB case going. So once that NPB case is up and running against the buyer, they then have 96 hours to pay for that card. That is plenty of time to pay for that card. You've already given them two days. Now you're giving another four. At the end of 96 hours, if they have not paid for the card, you as a seller get your final value fees back and you're able to relist that card. Right now, time is of the essence. We cannot wait a couple days for a seller to you know, pay for it. We, we got to work at, we're up against the clock right now. Um, either a player is hot, a product is new, a prospect is budding. You know, One more day waiting, two more days waiting could be the difference of $10, $15, if not even more, when you relate it back to what's happening right now with Jordan uh, and all those cards. Uh, so time right now is of the essence. So if a buyer does not pay within two days, open that case, and then after four days, get those fees back. Do not wait around and play nice with the buyer. You, you are holding that card back for nearly 2% of the year for them by them not paying. You as a seller deserve to have that card relisted as fast as possible if they are not going to pay. Now, 
here is 1B of what I do and what I recommend you never do as a seller on eBay. 1B here is never ever message a buyer asking for payment. It never does us as sellers any good. If the buyer has no intention of paying, they're gonna tell you, hey, I'm gonna pay next Friday or I'm gonna pay in four days. Then what are you gonna say? No, that's not acceptable. You are the one reaching out saying, hey, when are you gonna pay for this card? Do not message a seller. All it does is delay the process. It delays you getting your final value fees back and you relisting the card. If a, if a buyer says, hey, I'm going to pay you in five days and you wait five days and they don't pay you, you then have to wait another four days to get that card through the NPB case and get your final value fees. Now you're looking at about 11 days since the card ended at sale or at auction to, for you to be able to relist it. So anytime you have a buyer not paying, please do not message them. Just start the process. When you start the NPB process, they're gonna get a letter from eBay or an email saying, hey, you haven't paid for this card, please pay for it. Let eBay do all the work. Do not reach out to the buyer. Do not send them a note. Just, just start the process. It, it's just It's better for you as a seller to have it all done officially through eBay so that you can relist your card uh, the fastest if it does not get paid. And then one thing I haven't mentioned at all in this whole process is when I do have a buyer that does not pay and they end up going through the entire six day process, I then immediately block them from my listings going forward. And the great thing with eBay is when you block a buyer, even if their name changes, their, their, or their user ID changes, that name will change in your block list. So they're blocked all the time. So that's a great thing to do on the back end um, after a person does not pay. So in closing guys, when you are selling on eBay, the key is number one, we gotta get paid. But if you're not getting paid, what, to, what should we do? And, and number one is within 48 hours, open up that non-paying bidder case, get that clock ticking. And number two, do not message the seller or the buyer asking for payment because all it's gonna do is delay you starting up your NPB case on the back end. Time is of the essence, and the faster you get that card relisted, the better off you will be.